when Michael asked me if I would consider hosting a Q&A at Barnes & Noble for its launch. Was it was it after it came out or right before? It was before. Well, the actual Q&A was, I think, the day of the, the book coming out, but I, I approached you before. You, you approached me long before, mm -hmm. and then I said yes, and you mailed me a, is it called a galley's copy? Yeah, an early copy, yep. It's an early copy, which I still have, which, what does it say on it that says it's, like, not for sale or not finished or something? It's a real collector's item. Um, and, and, and you know this, so I'm not afraid to say it. It's set. It sat for so long, because I'm like, oh, I need to read that, but I was working or whatever, and finally Todd and I took a vacation. Todd's my husband, and um, and I took it along, and it was both the best and the worst vacation read ever. One doesn't really want to cry that much on vacation, is my point. So thanks. What's amazing is that you said yes to doing the Q&A before reading the book. I wasn't scared of your book. <laughs> Jim hosted a Q&A for Michael Asiello, and I was like, I think you really like this book. Should we read it? <laughs> and then, of course, we all read it. I think I read it in a day, bawled my eyes out, um, and was like, we have to do this. I was starting a company with Michael Showalter around that time, and I think he had seen an announcement that That's Wonderful and Jim Parsons were going to do this book and just loved the way that it sounded. So he was like, let's read this book. We both actually listened to it on tape with Michael Asiello reading it and just fell in love with it and so called them and just got involved right from there. The whole point is we have this like magical trip to the beach yeah. and this, this looks like a magical yeah. trip to the beach. Like the sky yeah. could not be Well, I have to tell you first off, the Michael Showalter of it all, that was my first dream come true. He understands how to do what you might call like a laugh cry. Like he knows comedy and he knows joyousness and he knows the depths of human suffering in his work at the same time. I was doing a Zoom with Jim and with Michael Showalter. We were just talking about the characters and about why they wanted to tell this story and I felt like it went really well and presumed there would be like loads of hoops to jump through, further auditions, but we heard relatively quickly that they felt like they wanted for me to play Kit. Ben was just a dream to have, to work with in general. He brought such a love and depth and charisma to the character of Kit. I think he shares a similar curiosity and love for all creative arts the way Kit did. For me, it's how physically he resembled <laughs> Kit, which was a little weird at times, but in the best possible way. You know, there's certain angles of Ben where I looked at him and it was like, I saw Kit in his mannerisms, in his approach to certain lines, and just an overall essence. Um, I'm living here alone, and I have a place in Brooklyn. He is in many ways very Kit-like. Yeah, it's funny. I never met Kit in person. It's because he, he, like, he wasn't a fan. Because he wasn't a fan. <laughs> I kept you guys apart as far as possible. <laughs> well, whatever the cruel reason, I never met Kit as, as in real life. But picture-wise, and your very vivid descriptions in the book about what he's like, everybody could see the overlap. Jim cares for this film and the script and this story so much and it has such passion for telling the story authentically and for playing Michael authentically. The first time I saw Jim playing me, it was surreal. It, you know, it was like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sitting here looking into a monitor watching Jim Parsons play the story of my life. I felt that this was definitely a part I could play. I felt that I could be the right energy for that half of the relationship. Oh, God. <laughs> in my mind, I never was like, whoever plays me, it has to be an imitation. Especially right. when we got Jim, I think one of the exciting things was I couldn't wait to see what he brought to this role. That surprised me and it was interesting. And I knew he would create his own Michael, and he did. Jim Parsons, Sally Field, Ben, 
myself and every actor on the film has a, has a wit. Marilyn, wait for the camera. Getting to have Sally Field play Marilyn would literally the first dream come true for all of us making this movie. It was like, it was Show Walter's very first idea. And we were all like, do you think you can get her? He's like, we can try. So we barraged her with emails, begging her, and she was in. And there's a moment in the film where Kit comes out to them, and there I was just looking into Sally Field's eyes and Bill Owen's eyes, and, and they were just so present and so in the moment with me that Sally and Bill both have gay children, and I think that really meant that they really understood and cared for the story, and I feel so lucky to have been involved in this project and I felt that like every day I turned up to work on it. I just felt so lucky to be working with Jim and I've never felt anyone believe in me as much as I felt Jim believed in me. And that was such a transformative experience as an actor. Um, I felt like sometimes he believed in me being Kit more than I believed it. It was a gift start to finish for me creatively. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it would turn into a movie. Honestly, I felt just a gratitude. I felt like I'm so grateful to have gotten to this point and to be able to share this story with so many more people and to have someone like Jim starring in it. It was an embarrassment of riches. That's very sweet to say. I'm realizing I've never allowed myself to fully imagine what it would be like to put myself in his shoes for going through this experience. And as I'm thinking about it, I understand why. It's enormous. It's enormous watching your life reflected back at you. And that is one of the big reasons it turned into one of the most important creative experiences of my life. <laughs>